Jesus is healer. Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 8. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. You know, this wonderful truth that Jesus is the unchanging Jesus is so very important for us to uh, understand, recognize uh, what Jesus will do for us and who he is to us. Because we have the record of Jesus, his life, his earthly life in the Gospels. We see what he did. The Bible tells us over and over again in the Gospels that he went about preaching the Gospel of the Kingdom. He went about healing every manner of sickness, every manner of disease. He set people free from evil spirits. He destroyed the works of the devil. And when he walked the earth in his earthly life, he came to reveal God to us. The Bible tells us he was the image of the invisible God. He enabled us to see God in bodily form. This is who God is. God is the healer. God is the deliverer. God is the one who meets the needs of people. But he didn't do it just for that short period of time that he ministered here on earth. That was more a, a window into who he will always be for us. And so the writer of Hebrews says, Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So today, Jesus is still the same. He is the healer of every sickness, every disease. And we see in the Gospels that everyone who came to Jesus in faith received their healing. He never turned anyone away saying, oh, sorry, I can't heal you today. The only ones who didn't receive are the ones who didn't come to him or the ones who didn't believe when Jesus came to them. He came to his own hometown and the Bible says he couldn't do mighty works there because of their unbelief. They couldn't believe that this Jesus, who was Joseph's son, a carpenter's son, whom they had seen grow up amongst them was now working, doing healings and healing the sick and casting out devils and demons. And they couldn't believe that. But to everyone who came to him in faith, he was healer, deliverer. And he is the same today. He's not here in physical form, but he's here by his Holy Spirit. He's with you right where you are right now. And he can be your healer. He can be the healer to me right now. He is our healer. And I want us to take a moment to pray. And if there are those listening who need healing in their bodies, as I pray, I want you to look to Jesus. I want you to touch Jesus by faith and say, Jesus, I touch you by faith and I receive your healing into my body, whatever your sickness. There's no sickness too small or too big that Jesus cannot heal. There is no demonic work that Jesus cannot destroy and cast off of you and off of your life. As I pray, as we pray together, I want you to expect Jesus to be your healer and your deliverer. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we acknowledge you as our healer. Thank you, you've given us the power, the right to use your powerful name. And thank you for the anointing of your Holy Spirit. I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I destroy every work of the devil every sickness, every disease, every ailment, every infirmity, every torment, every oppression of the devil. In the name of Jesus, I break it. I destroy it. I expel every foul spirit. Declare the people healed and people set free and made whole. In Jesus' name. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.